Welcome to Crazy Nuts. Ten minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I might take explosive one start the timer. But ding. Two minutes or less. Dude. TNT. So there was a cop in Cincinnati. Oh boy. He Here got suspended go. from the force. Oh boy. Because he decided oh boy. it would be a really good idea to tattoo on his knuckles pure evil. Oh. Okay. okay. And uh, they decided that that wasn't a good look for the force. Really? Yeah. And then, uh, so he got suspended, right? So then what he tries to say, uh, he said, the, the words pure evil should not be observed as one message. He said pure and evil are separate from each other. Oh. And have separate meanings. He explained. I like It that. is the struggle between good and evil. I like that. Yeah. They said get the hell out of here with that. I like no I like I like the spin on it though I like that yeah you can come up with a lot of excuses post haste <laughs> <laughs> I mean look there's nothing there's nothing like uh crazy about having pure evil on your knuckles I mean besides you putting pure evil on your knuckles so the the act of doing it is what's insane not necessarily the fact that he did it as a police officer is what I'm trying to say yeah um I, like I, you show up to a domestic violence call, you reach out to help the world girl, you have evil tattooed across your knuckles to like help her out. She's like, What the F? <laughs> I mean, look, people have jacked up tattoos, man. Yeah, but when you're in a public space I mean, look, okay, so look, it's a job like any other job. I get it. And if it doesn't fit with what they want, like I'm not gonna vote for a president who has pure evil across <laughs> his knuckles. He stands up there, he's like <laughs> Facts, if, right? Chin, <laughs> knuckles under his chin. If I'm supposed to go under the knife for a surgery for a colonoscopy, <laughs> and my doctor walks in with pure evil on nice his knuckle, nice to meet you, Mister Mite. He just reaches out evil on yeah, his I'm hand. Like, um, excuse me, what's your? I'm like twist his hand a little bit as I'm shaking. Like, what yeah. does it say? He's like, well, we're off, and you're like, oh god. <laughs> no, I assure you, I'm highly accredited, bro. You say pure evil on your hand. I'm, I'm gonna ask for a second opinion. Yeah, dude. So, it's, so it's, I mean, uh, so I get that. I get it, but yeah, I it, don't know, man. Like, it. I thought that was really weird, and I think they said he had had other disciplinary actions. I didn't. I, I read the article so. a while ago. I don't yeah. remember exactly. But, it's it's fine. But like. <laughs> Have you ever been fired from a job for something crazy? Though? I've never been fired from a job, period. You've never been fired from a job. Every job I've ever had, I've resigned. Wow. Yeah, I've, I've been f I've been fired a handful of times. How does that work? Like, what do they say to you? <laughs> um, it's always some BS, I'll tell you that much. I got fired one time because uh, I was threatening to form a union. Oops. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they'll, quit, they'll can you real quick. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, they, they were what like, type of business was that? The same stuff, kind of oh. stuff I do now. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. But, yeah, know. they don't like when you hear union talk, dude. <laughs> no, dude. They will thwart that out. Which is it's crazy, you know, like Amazon's been unionizing lately. Um, did you see the gentleman who uh, actually got the union, the first union in Amazon? They he, like, he met before, I don't want to say Congress, but I think it was Congress. I don't know. I don't know. I no. don't know. I don't know branches of the government. Either way, like some straight up New York just like black dude with like sunglasses and a baseball cap and a leather jacket that says eat the rich got up and like made some valid points about like how the treatment of workers in Amazon was going down. Yeah. And uh, Amazon ended up unionizing uh, that, that one warehouse. And there's yeah. been a few more that have followed since. But the thing is, is that he had threatened a union, lost his job, but continued to pursue the justice for the workers, even though it didn't even really affect him. And that's essentially what I would have had to do, because once you threaten with a union, they're going to get you out of there. And if you do. Well, and, and, and here's the thing. Once they do that, you know, you're onto something. Oh, yeah. Because you're like, oh. Oh, you don't want oh, that, yeah. huh? Oh, yeah. Because they, they'll do whatever the hell they want to do to you as a worker, man. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy, Yeah, man. they love to spin how unions are bad for the employee. Nah. I, I, don't, I don't really know how they are. Uh, you've been a part of a union before. I have not. I've never been a part of a union. No, I have, man, um, in one place. I think it was... Uh, I think it was a warehouse that I worked at for a brief period of time, and you used to have to pay you you you'd have to pay union dues, which was like ten dollars a month or fifteen dollars a month or whatever. Right, right. But the like, protections it offers you, and like, yeah, like I felt like I could never get fired. <laughs> <laughs> And, see, and that really is one felt, of the bad things because there are people who abuse that. Yeah, but I mean, you know, 
Yeah, well, what it yeah, is, the man. Union hire to, the right people. The union to handle it. Yeah. <laughs> the union to handle it. Yeah, man. I uh, So, like, what is a conversation where you get fired at a job like? Do they just say call you into the office and say, hey, we're going to let you go? Uh, Yeah, I've had one of those. I've definitely had a we got to let you go. Uh, It's been nice. Was it's it disciplinary been... in that one? Or was it just like a layoff? Wow. That one was a long time ago, my dude. I, honestly, I can't remember. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't recall that one. The one where, but the the one that sticks in my mind, the union one, was they just called me up and they were like, uh, "Or no, I showed up to work the next day and they were like, no, you're fired.'" <laughs> I was like, "You didn't even call me to tell me." <laughs> And I was like, my dude, do you realize I got to take like three buses and a train to get here? And like, you didn't even call me? Let me know. They're like, no, sorry. They're like, calm down, calm down, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, I'm not even mad. Like, calm down, calm down. I mean, no, for real, I'm kind of happy I get to go home right now. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. We got to call cops. Yeah. Gotta call. Quit resisting. <laughs> the cops aren't even here yet. Man down. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, that one was definitely some BS, man. And it's, it was it was very clear, like the reason afterwards, because it was like I had to call off of work late because like my car had broken down and my ride hadn't come in, and I was just like, all right, I can't come to work. And I called in, and then the next day, you're like, oh, you're no call, no show. I was like, bruh, so <laughs> I was like, I've been working here for ten years, so right, right. One one instance out of a decade. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you've never known me to miss a day, but oh, I'm fired off of the first one. I've seen people get no call, no show for a week. Yeah, and they're like, like, where's Steve? I don't know. And then like, he shows up, like Steve's back. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah I've dude. been fired 100, percent man. I feel like you know, Jonas, you need to you need to get fired one good time. It builds character, my Does man. Does it? It builds character. I when, guess. I don't know. I, I just work, do good work, and don't get fired. Like, uh, <laughs> have, have you ever like just walked off a job and quit? That's another one that you um, gotta do. I have gotta get that one out of your system. I haven't walked off mid shift. I've only, dude. I've only had a handful of jobs. I tend to stay at the jobs I get for a long time. Um, so yeah, the first job I ever had, I stayed at for two years. Then the next job I got after that, I stayed at for. Uh, Five years, four or five years, and you've and you've always just quit because of better work opportunity. Yeah, or you've or, never just been like, I'm good. Yeah, no, I had, but then, no, I did have a couple things here and there where like I worked at like delivered pizza at a place for a while, and then I just didn't want to work there anymore. And like, you no, know you just stopped going in. Yeah, they call and they kept calling me and calling me. And I'm like, <laughs> I love it when they call you. Yeah, they kept calling me, and I'm like. No, dude, I'm good. Like, <laughs> the and then I had I did work at this one place that was like, oh, you know what? I did get fired one time. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I uh, I ate some I ate some poppy seeds, and they said I failed the drug test, but I did. <laughs> I was eating hamburger buns and stuff. Dude. You were eating hamburger buns, <laughs> and and I was like, I was like, I don't understand how this is possible because I've never I've never partaken in any sort of illegal narcotics. And like, they were like, well, the test opium. came back. And I'm like, that is impossible. And they wanted to argue about it. They said, you can pay for another test. I'm like, this one was free. Why don't I have to pay for another one? And so I just stopped going. I mean, hey, you're, yeah. not, you're not missing out on anything. No, that was a company that actually closed down. So, yeah. Um, so I guess I technically, but like, yeah, no. I've, I've had a couple jobs that I worked at. Yeah, that one was like a telemarketing sort of place. And I worked there like one day. And I, it was like fraternal order of the police, like calling, asking for donations. And like, uh, I was just like, yeah, I'm good I'm on that. Good. I did I'm one. Good. I did the sh I did the whole shift. And they actually, he actually really liked me because I got like a hundred dollar donation on my first day from one person. He was like, he, he's like, I think you got a, I think you got a future here, bud. Yeah. And I'm like, and then I w looked at everybody else in that bitch. And I was like, <laughs> no, this is my future. Look at all of these people in here. I'm going to end up like freaking Dorothea over there. <laughs> yeah. Right. And turn like, phones. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Charles. How about you guys have done it? You get a sticker for the FOP. <laughs> I've, oh, I've definitely almost got into one of those, uh, what do they call them, like an MLM? Oh, where you like sell knives? Oh, like, here, buy a $200 set of knives. Bro, bro, never, never. You ain't going to trick me. I didn't even know what an MLM was at that point in time, but I right, knew right, yeah. that. That's how they get they get like young kids to do it. They're like 18. They're like, listen, you just go talk to all your family and friends. Give them to buy a set of knives. Bro, I was like, this is the weirdest freaking job interview. It was the weirdest, like, uh, what do you call it, uh, orientation that I've ever had. And I'm like, we didn't sell anything. And I was like, this, and I was like, wait a minute. So I've been out here for eight hours with you. You haven't sold 
but maybe like two things and you're going home with how much in your pocket? No. This is not a job. <laughs> this is not yeah, a job. So. I don't know, but that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to the Crazy Town and subscribe crazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, we out.